Hey, aloha everyone. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, replacing this uh, large window, uh, large rear window on the Volkswagen bus um, and the steps that you'll need to take to make sure that uh, you won't have to do it again for a while. Uh, so first step for me was I uh, used the razor blade, cut the inside seal off the entire um, uh, inside of the, um, of the window rubber. Um, then I was able to gently push it out uh, from uh, inside to the out, uh, get the window out, um, and then just looking at this, it's all really clean uh, except for this bottom edge, and I'm going to zoom in on this real quick uh, so you can see what this bottom edge looks like, but it's got a little bit of rust, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take and sand that rust down. Um, make sure that this is uh, painted with a, a good quality paint before I, before I put the new seal in. Um, so we're just going to take it uh, step by step uh, through, um, through the entire process and kind of show you how it works. So I wanted to give you an idea of what the channel, the window channel looked like. As you can see, there's a little bit of surface rust in there um, uh, on the bottom edge. And so my task is going to be to clean that up a little bit. As you get higher, uh, it's nice and clean. There's no rust to be concerned about, but I definitely want to make sure this is nice and cleaned up and sealed with a good quality paint before I put the new window seal in. So I've got my handy dandy uh, Makita grinder. Um, this has uh, been extremely useful in all sorts of tasks. Um, and I've just got a like a, um, a sanding wheel disc on there. Uh, you wouldn't want to go anything real aggressive because you, want, you don't want to really start taking a lot of metal off this. Um, I'm just going for the rust, basically. So whenever you use this, you're probably going to want to use um, eye protection and, of course, um, uh, ear protection as well. Uh, so this is what it'll look like. As you can see, it's really doing a good job of taking a lot of that surface rust off. So I've got the rust on the channel pretty well cleaned up. Um, and then the last thing I want to do before I put a little bit of paint on here is I want to take um, some soapy water and just really clean this channel up. Uh, there's some dirt uh, that has gotten in there. And I just want to make sure this is really nice and clean, A, before I paint it, and B, before I put the new window seal in there. So I've got this channel um, nicely cleaned up. Put a couple coats of Rust-Oleum on there um, just to keep that rust from coming back. So now it's ready. All right, so the next step is um, I've got the window out and I went ahead and gave it a thorough wash. Uh, got it nice and clean. Um, and this is the new window rubber that I'm working on putting on. Um, I recommend getting a high quality uh, window rubber. Um, I got this from Wolfsburg West. Uh, they have really high quality products, especially the window rubber. Um, another thing that I really liked that I was super pleased about was they had biodegradable packing peanuts in their, in their shipping box. So that's super awesome, well done. Um, so uh, you're gonna wanna try and figure out, uh, or just make a note, what's the inside of your window? Um, because it's going to determine how your uh, seal goes in. So this larger uh, piece of the seal uh, goes on the outside um, and then the smaller flap is going to go on the inside and all of these fins are going to push in. Um, so I'm going to, I basically have this set up so that I can work my way around the window. Um, I've got it set up so, so I can, um, I can basically push it against uh, myself when I'm, when I'm easing this in um, and, uh, and it helps me kind of hold it into place and I've got a piece of carpet down too to protect it. Okay. Okay, so I've got the seal on. Um, you can see this is the outside of the window and this is the outside of the seal. Okay, so the larger lip is gonna go on the outside. And the other trick that I wanted to show you that is pretty important to try and get this window in 
is uh, some people like to use string. Um, I like to use weed eater um, line uh, because it's pretty easy to go in there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that weed eater line in. If you, you can show right here. Um, there's a little lip and you want that to go inside the lip and then you can kind of work your way around the window and this is going to help you and I'll show you how it works it's going to help you when you go to make the final install so the weed eater twine line goes all the way around the window inside that lip okay. all right so here is the um, the finished product ready to be installed um, so I have the weed eater line overlapping by about a foot there on the top um, and then I've got it feeding into so that it the weed eater line is on the inside of the car uh, when when I push this in um, and that's where I'm going to um, grab onto it to feed that that lip over the uh, over the the seal on the window. Um, so this is what it looks like from the outside. This is ready to be installed. All right, so we are ready to install the window. A couple of little tricks uh, that I like to use. Uh, a little bit of silicone um, spray in the corners, just to make that slide in there um, nice and easy. And then also, this is just soapy water um, with a mild, um, biodegradable soap um, that won't eat away that window rubber but I like to get that nice and wet so when you go to put the window in it um, it slides in fairly easily so I'm gonna make sure that string is on the inside get your window centered as much as possible and and then you're gonna start working it in. Slowly but surely, don't force anything. You wanna make sure it's nice and centered. This is an important part right here. You don't wanna make it go too fast, but if you have it nice and soaked up, it should kinda work its way in there. So once you get it to this point where it's sitting in there pretty well, I still have to work the top in, uh, but I'm gonna do that as we're pulling the string. Um, it's being a little stubborn right now. So once you get to this point, it's good to have a helper. Um, so I'm gonna have my helper push on the bottom here, push against the bottom, and then I'm gonna start pulling this string and the lip is gonna come over and catch that and then I'll work my way up um, on the sides and then towards the top. The top really needs to come in quite a bit, but we're gonna try and work that in as, uh, as someone's pushing on the outside for me and I'm pulling the string on the inside. So just to show you how this looks, um, I'm pulling this weed eater line and it's bringing that lip out and over the, the seam, the metal seam there on the window. And uh, we just kind of work our way around. There's where the string overlaps. And looks like I'm gonna have to feed it through. And then I keep going, get the bottom done, and start working up the sides there. All right, so after quite a bit of elbow grease, um, and as you can see from the sweat on me, uh, quite a bit of effort, um, we finally got this thing in. Um, it does require uh, two people. Um, I highly suggest that. One person pushing from the outside, I like to take my, the palm uh, of, my, of my hand and push against this seal. Like, you're gonna have to get it pretty, the bottom is close, but the top, there was a gap, so we really had to work it up here. Um, as my wife was pulling um, this string from the inside, um, I'm out here with both hands kind of pushing on that. 
and then also to get it to seat you can use your hand kind of slap it in get it to seat um, and then after it's all in you want to do that as well you slap it kind of pull down a little bit and get it to seat uh, but you'll know it's in <clears throat> when there's no gap uh, or nothing sticking out all the way around um, and then also one other tip um, you may need something to because it gets hard to pull this string uh, something to wrap uh, your string around with and, and then give it a good good pull from the inside um, but uh, it's not an easy job once you do it once or twice <clears throat> it gets a little bit easier um, <clears throat> and then you kind of figure out what to do and what works for you um, but uh, like I said um, very important to get a good quality seal um, because the hard ones um, <clears throat> that are a lot cheaper they're almost impossible to get in here but these nice soft ones this one's from Wolf, Wolfsburg's West and um, and it it's really good good quality it went right in there uh, and then putting it on the window too was a lot easier as well <clears throat> all right uh, well uh, I really hope that video is helpful for you um, as you try and replace the seals on your Volkswagen um, <clears throat> I probably would have left it to the professionals but there's no one around here that'll even touch these old Volkswagens because uh, they're afraid they're gonna break the glass and they'll be uh, you know, responsible for getting a new piece of glass so it's a, another good thing to learn how to do yourself all right well um, I hope uh, I hope that helps and we'll see you next time Aloha mahalo